<laughs> it was Penguin Week with Nigel Marvin on five. And Nigel was off to South Georgia to meet a colony of king penguins. Now, obviously, if you're surrounded by king penguins the whole time, they might start to get on your nerves. But really, there's no need for bad language. There's not just one or a few king penguins. <laughs> Look at this. There's some king penguin shit. <laughs> Will I ever find a king penguin? <laughs> at last, I found a king penguin with a distinguishing mark. There's no need for bad language. <laughs> I must say, the highlight of my Christmas is always the UK's strongest man. And the first challenge for these guys was the bus push. What's the technique here, Gary? Slightly different from normal. You're just going to pull in the bus, they're going to push the bus. <laughs> yeah. Instead of pulling it, you push it. Here's how Pat got on. Ireland's Pat McNamara managed to get a time, but he was in some distress. Oh, where am I? What's going on? Oh, oh he's about 60. <laughs> bus push. Bus pass, more like. <laughs> But my favourite, and the eventual winner, was Glenn, who's the Daddy Ross. Let's see him in action. Well, it's starting to slow a little bit here, a little bit of blood seeping from the nose. That's a, that's a blood vessel going there. Just shows you how much he's putting into it. When you get a nosebleed from lifting something, that's probably a sign that maybe it's a bit too heavy for you. <laughs> I feel pretty, I feel pretty. I feel stupid and useless and tired and empty. And pretty and witty and wise. Oh dear, EastEnders was a little uncharacteristically downbeat this Christmas. <laughs> Bradley was trying his best to get through to Stacy. All that stuff about loving you and I'm wanting a kid with you. It was all lies. I don't want anything to do with you. Nothing. What are you saying? Uh, I think he's saying he wants to marry you and be the father of your children. <laughs> Pretty soon, though, Stacy retaliated in kind. Do you hear that, everyone? Bradley don't want anything to do with me, so I'm available. I'm back on the market. And so is Bradley if you like rubbish sex and loads of cuddles. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Here, what's the worst reaction you've ever had to a bit of paper tearing? Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, it wasn't very good, was it? Here's a bit of paper tearing that I've worked out just for you, Billy. Okay, what you do, you fold it in half, like that. Just tear a little bit out there. Throw that away, you won't be needing that. Over again, another little, yeah, like that. And again, <laughs> unfold it and uh, <laughs> my wife is, is sick. But the big story on the square was the death of Pauline Fowler. Hey! hey. <laughs> That's enough. Pauline, the much loved matriarch of Wolford. I can't bear to have you near me. Let my flesh creep. Not with your clammy little hands. Is that what you think women want? Is it not? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I've been going wrong all these years. <laughs> Me and my tiny little clammy hands. <laughs> Rubbish checks and cuddles, anyone? <laughs> but before she signed off, <laughs> Pauline took one last chance to cheer herself up. She visited a graveyard. Arthur's grave, there, and then Mark's grave, oh, <laughs> yes, the Thames Whale, <laughs> uplifting Christmas telly, rest in peace, at least some of the occupants of Albert Square had a reasonable Christmas. <laughs> The East Enders crackers. I've got a box of them here. Look, there we are. Right then. And who better to pull a cracker with than? <laughs> Happy Christmas, Harry. It's the UK's strongest man, the Daddy Glen Ross. <laughs> Would you pull a cracker with me, Glen? My pleasure, Harry. Right. Got it. 
I know you're disappointed, but you're going to come out of this stronger. <laughs> come on up there! Yeah. Right, let's have a look at this packet then. Well, there's the, uh, the paper hat. It's uh, Dunce's hat. Uh, what else? Where's the toy? Oh, yes. There it is. There's the toy. It's a, <laughs> a razor blade. And uh, here's the joke. Why did Pauline Fowler cross the road? To have a brain hemorrhage. <laughs> <laughs> you get the idea.